Hi everyone, I hope you're having a fabulous day. I just want to share this thought with you. In Luke 22, in verse 31 to 34, And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan desire, ask permission to have you that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. And when you are converted, strengthen thy brethren. Jesus said, Peter, Peter, not only once, but twice. And if you read further down, you saw where Peter said, Lord, I'm going to die with you wherever you go, I go. But you saw where in the end Peter denied Jesus. But I want to focus on the first two verses, verse 31 and 32, where he said, Simon, Simon, Satan desire. Satan asks permission. You see, just like how Satan asks permission to test Job, that's the same thing Peter came and he asked, Satan came and he asked Jesus to permission to test Peter and Jesus said Peter Satan desire hmm. what wow. desire he acts he earnestly desire to sift you as wheat and if those of you who bake and those who have watched those shows where the miner and they have the strainer and they strain out the dirt from out of the strainer. Or if you're making the tea and you have to use the strainer, you see, you take out all of the lump and anything that can go through that strainer process. So if you look at the straining process, you separate the flour or the lump and the stony things just separate and Satan desire to separate us. Satan wants to take us out of the things of God. He wants to test our faith in God and see how strong we are if our trust level can endure the testing and some of us, we have to go through trials and tribulation. But Jesus is saying, I have prayed for thee. Wow. Isn't it good to have a father who know how to pray? And he prayed for you and he prayed for me so that our faith fail not in the challenges of life. Some of you may be dealing with financial challenges, challenges in your marriage, challenges with your children, challenges on your job, challenges with not having a job, challenges in not paying your bills on time because you maybe do not have the resources, the money to pay the bills. But Jesus is saying, I have prayed for thee so that your faith your trust in him fail not. Satan is after our trust in God. Satan is after our trust in God. And if he can shake our faith level, our belief system in God, then he win. But when you and I remember that Jesus of Nazareth who died and he was buried and he was resurrected and he ascended and he's in rulership and he's prayed for you and he prayed for me that our faith, our trust in God fail not so father god whatever your people are going through right now thank you father god for put us back into your word 
where we can start believing you again. Where our trust level can increase in you again. Trust in you. Trust in you. Trust in you, Father God, that our faith fail not. In Jesus' name, have a great day.